In this video, I let an AI make entire games for me. Now you may be thinking, how does an AI make an entire game? Most recently, we've seen AI that has the ability to make images based on prompts with things like Dali Mini blowing up in popularity. But what if I told you another AI was fully capable of writing code to make games based off of prompts? Sounds kinda crazy, right? Well, let me introduce you to OpenAI, a website that is primarily used to generate text using your own prompts. You can make dialogue, have it generate a full story, and a lot more. However, I learned if you actually tell it to make code, it can actually do this. For example, if you start your prompt with write Python code for, followed by whatever you want it to make, chances are it can actually make something somewhat coherent. So, I've spent some time tinkering with this website and managed to generate quite a few games from it, and I'll be going over each of them in a bit more detail. So let's take a look at what this AI managed to create. Alright, to start off simple, I gave the AI this simple prompt, and it did generate a game with it. As we can see here, it's a text-based guessing game where your goal is to guess a number between 1 and 100. Depending on your guess, it'll output either too low or too high. This is about as simple as it gets when making a guessing game, so let's move on to some of the more complex game ideas I gave it. Everyone knows Pac-Man, and oh my god, did this AI actually make something like it? Here's what it made. Basically, you can use WASD to control a yellow circle like Pac-Man, and you gain points as you move. If you touch the white square, it kills you like a ghost would. This is legitimately awesome, because it's literally just Pac-Man. Generally, the controls feel the same, the fact that it has a scoring system, and the fact that it detected what a ghost is and it could actually kill you. I had to see if this AI could generate a game somewhat close to one of my most popular games, Chromer Collector, and here's what it made. Basically, it's a text-based game which has a neat idea. It starts off with, you are a Chromer Collector, your job is to collect Chromers, there are 10 Chromers in this game, good luck! Followed by a prompt to go either left or right. Basically, it's a 50-50 chance for either side to have a Chromer. While not as grand as my actual game, I still think this is quite fun, as it's a game of random chance themed around my own game. This prompt was something I was actually quite interested in seeing, so I gave the AI the prompt, and it actually managed to generate an interesting game idea. Running the game, you're first presented with some dialogue. It's been five years since the events at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. The place has been abandoned and left to rot, but something still lurks in the darkness. You've been hired as the new Night Watchman. You must survive five nights at the pizza place. After this, it basically runs through more text depending on the hour of the game. Like your hiding place changing between under a desk, in the closet, in the bathroom, in the vent system, and in the office. Basically, this loop goes through all six hours and five nights. It's actually wild that it made a somewhat coherent plot for a Five Nights at Freddy's game. <laughs> This prompt was given to test how creative the AI could get with making a game. Like, come on, there has never been a game about a skunk jumping in a deep fryer before, so this is probably the first one ever. So upon running the game, it says, You are a skunk who has jumped into a deep fryer. You have two options. One, swim, or two, climb out. Let's choose one for this playthrough. You start swimming, but quickly realize that you are in hot oil and start to fry. You die a painful death. Alright, so let's try to climb out this time. You start to climb out, but slip and fall back in. You die a painful death. So either way, the skunk dies. This is easily the game of the decade. Nothing can ever top this. Knights of Chaos was a game I made back for a game jam, so I decided to see if the AI could program a working title screen, and it actually did. It managed to create a somewhat coherent title screen that looks somewhat like the actual one. This is genuinely impressive considering this is just an AI taking a vague description and making code to actually draw this image. <laughs> Another very basic game, Rock, Paper, Scissors, is a classic when it comes to games, so let's see if the AI managed to create it. Upon running the game, we are given a choice for entering R for Rock, P for Paper, or S for Scissors. Then after choosing, the second player can choose their attack. Surprisingly, this game is quite fluid for a multiplayer game, though I guess the second player always has an advantage since they can literally see what their opponent chose right before them. <laughs> Lastly, I had to see if this AI could replicate my most recent game being Penguin Panic. Surprisingly, it picked up the idea of the penguin by implementing penguin.png, 
which I had to add myself to the folder, and upon running it, it's just a simple image that moves around the screen. While not too impressive, I still think it's sick to see that in the code, all the main events have Penguin in it. So yeah, those were just some of the games that I had the AI make entirely. If you want to try this AI for yourselves, there's a link to it in the description. You'll need to make an account for it, but it's completely free to use. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe as it helps out a lot. And if you want to see any of the other games I've made, be sure to check out some other videos as well. As always, thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you in the next one.